Hey guys, welcome to the podcast. My name is Bliss Jung. This is our first ever podcast or episode or whatever you want to call it. And what we're planning to do is provide financial advice and financial value to those that are listening and to those that you're connected with as well. We want to just be able to help people at the end of the day. That's what I love to do. And if I can help one person, that'll mean a lot to me. I often find myself in my businesses giving advice to a lot of people, doing a lot of consulting, and I had to figure out a way to be able to create a little bit more impact uh, by not having to spend as much time with each person. From the aspect of, not because I don't want to help people, obviously the whole purpose of this is to help people, but I can only help so many people if I do it on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So hopefully this will reach a lot more people than I would have ever been able to do by myself by doing one-on-one. -on, -one. on this first episode, we are gonna be going over quick tips for business loans. Tip number one, you wanna have a business plan. If you don't know what you're doing, people that are gonna try to get behind you and being able to provide you financing or provide you money, whether you're going through loans or going to investors to pitch, if you don't have a plan, then it's gonna be hard for them to get aligned with where you're trying to go and how you're gonna be able to utilize that capital. Now, if you don't have a business currently and you're looking to get into business for yourself or with other people, the biggest thing that I always tell people is to be passionate about what you're gonna be looking into doing. If you're just doing it for the money, that can be great, but more than likely it's gonna be temporary. And when it gets to hard times, when you enjoy something, it's gonna be a little bit easier for you to go through than if you hate it or you're not passionate about it or there's not any deeper meaning to why you should push through in really, really hard times. Number two, credit score. Your credit score is really crucial. It is on paper or it's a number that gives a little bit of reflection of how capable you are of being able to pay somebody back. So for example, if you're not paying back on your previous commitments, you're probably not gonna do it in the future. Or at least that's what it shows on paper. You know, it's very black and white. Did you pay it or did you not? If you did, then great. Then your credit score should reflect a little bit higher. If you haven't, then more than likely your credit score is gonna be on the lower end. And for number three, it's crucial on who you listen to for advice, who your influences are. So I'm not gonna say I'm the guru and I know everything and anything about business and finances and money, but I will say I've been around it for a bit to be able to speak on behalf of what I've seen and what I've seen my clients go through. You wanna find somebody that is experienced in what you're looking to do, whether it's in real estate or whether it's in stocks and bonds, whether it's in commodities, whether it's in business, whatever the case may be, you're gonna wanna find who's experienced in that area to listen to. And as a disclaimer, just because they're doing it doesn't always mean they're experienced either or that they're even providing the right information. It's always really important to do your own due diligence. Google and YouTube can be your best friend in that. So if you're gonna be looking for like a mentor or a guru or something like that, then you're gonna really wanna make sure they're gonna be able to provide you the value that you're paying them. So these are three you know, very general tips for being able to get business loans. I wanted to make a really short video just to at least do our first episode or first video. I know there's a lot that goes in between. There's so much more with these business loans and we'll get to that in the future. And so comment down below and let me know what are some questions that you have about business that maybe I can start addressing. Well, thank you all so much for being a part of our first episode. We look forward to being able to do some more. Talk to you later.